what great chunks of the population do today is take the information as a conclusion when the media say this is what's going on then that is not information to be processed that is a conclusion to be absorbed these are all traits of Wutiko and how does this work? Wutiko is a band of frequency it's a very low dense band of frequency which resonates to the frequencies of fear and all the emotional low vibration emotional states around fear anxiety depression resentment all these low vibrational emotional states and every thought and every emotion that we feel and we think goes out as a frequency fear is a dense low slow frequency when people are in fear and anxiety they say oh, i feel so heavy today yes because that's what those low slow frequencies do to your energetic field when people feel joy and love they say oh, i feel so light today yeah because they're fast frequencies and uh, fast wavelengths so therefore they impact upon your field in a completely different way the point of Watiko is to draw human consciousness into low vibrational states so that attachment that assimilation can take place Wutiko is not going once it's got influence and what it does it attaches to the lower levels of the subconscious just beyond the five senses it puts its perceptual traits into that subconscious level and then they filter through to the five sense conscious mind and at that point, people think they're having their own thoughts, their own emotional reactions, when actually they've been implanted and they're coming through from the subconscious. Watiko is not going to influence those that it attaches to, to make them think about questioning anything. And so people simply stop processing information. They become like a software program. They just take downloads from statements and what have you and it becomes their reality. The way out is to name it. You have to be able to name it. Yeah, why? Because Watiko operates in the human subconscious. Once you make it conscious, it loses its power. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same as subliminal advertising and subliminal images. I put a subliminal image in one of my books as an example of this and it's about four plants growing next to each other and you say to people there's a subliminal image in that picture and, and people look oh no i can't see anything and then you point out that in the white bits between the plants it clearly says the word and they go oh god i didn't see that now here's the point from that moment on every time they look at that picture the subliminal is the first thing they see because they brought it out of the subconscious to the conscious and therefore it loses its power. It's just a way of saying acknowledge its existence because it's in the subliminal, the subconscious, that Watiko operates because it wants you to believe that your thoughts and your opinions are your thoughts and opinions. It doesn't want you to realize that actually they're being fed to you. They don't want us to know how our perceptions through a process of attraction, like frequency attraction, our perceptions become our experience. So they don't want us to know that our perceptions create our reality. And the idea is that um, people are kept in ignorance of how they interact with reality and how they can control reality, how they can start living life instead of life living them in their ignorance of how reality works. The nature of reality, the nature of the I, the eternal nature of life, the fact that this tiny band of frequency that we call the human world, that's what it is, it's a tiny band of frequency, ridiculously narrow actually, especially the visible part of it, visible light. This is not what the rest of infinity is. The rest of infinity is dominated by love, by joy, by happiness. Yes, there are pockets like this one. This is not how life is. We are caught in something that is not like the rest of infinite possibility, infinite potential. We shouldn't confuse life per se with life in this little band of frequency we call the world. And talking about this awakening, people look at it, maybe just starting to go through this process, 
and they say it's not happening fast enough why aren't more people waking up and you go you should have been with me in 1990 91 92 93 94 95 96. and you would realize that what's happening now is a revolution of awareness it happening before our eyes and more and more people are going to be affected this is a manifestation of the truth vibrations the more people that open their heart and impact upon this field that connects everything with high vibrational energy is being infused into the field into this human world field it is everything is a reflection of everything else whatever's happening in the realm of consciousness expresses itself in the world of holographic of illusory physical reality we're all connected we're all one we're all fish swimming in the same sea we are connected by this ocean of consciousness that connects all things this field of consciousness is all possibility it's all potential to celebrate your uniqueness is to celebrate the oneness of everything we are unique points of attention within that connected awareness and we need to celebrate that uniqueness of self you know you're part of a great whole you know that we're all ultimately each other but we are unique expressions of it what transformed my perception what transformed my life was a simple transformation of self-identity the awakening process what awakens us and what woke me was not all the minutiae again of the spiritual process it was a simple thing i stopped identifying the i with david ike david ike is not the i it is a name for an experience that my consciousness true i is currently having so david ike is my experience i am the consciousness having that experience and as you expand your self identity from little me labels of a human life to i am a consciousness but ultimately all consciousness having an experience uh, that self identity expansion automatically expands your awareness into deeper and deeper levels of this field so you access more and more insight awareness intuitive knowing and this is why when people go through the awakening process they find incredible synchronicity starts to kick into their lives their lives start to become an experience of fancy seeing you here my god what's the chances of that why because they've gone from the myopia of five sense perception and expanded to access more and more and more of this field of potential and possibility and thus they are able to manifest that as a life experience in which the possibility and the potential of their life expands and suddenly they start experiencing things that weren't happening before for instance people say why didn't i see it it's so obvious yeah but you were in that state before of course you're not going to see it now you're in this now you're going to see it i've got the synchronicity in my life amazing coincidences keep happening yes because you're accessing more and more potential and possibility in the field life stops living you and you start living life it is so much simpler than people realize the energy that is love is the balance of all things wherever love is infused balance is manifested so much trauma that people have in their energy field and have in their memories an infusion of the energy of love can break up those eddies of distortion in the energetic field that trauma brings and balance it all out and as it's balanced out the trauma the trauma is also balanced out. love is the answer love is the answer to everything and um it's been lost in the academic mind and the scientific mind the left brain intellect which is compared with the consciousness of love is a bit of idiot again love changes everything love is all you can't get more simple than that and it just happens to be the truth